Are you listening to any Toronto artists right now? Me? Yeah. Fuck Toronto artists. Oh, shit. Oh. I'm kidding. What? I'm kidding. Yo. Hold up. Let me do my dance in this bitch. Gonna be crazy close. Made up on a... I love Drake. I love Drake. I love Tory Lane. You better if you want to live in I Canada. Love I love all Toronto artists. Uh, Clint Lewis. Hey. Uh, yeah. Ow. Just Drake? You know Drake? How do I listen to Drake? Oh, there you go. You know I don't listen to you. Hey, I listen to you, man. <laughs> I play music in the house. I listen to Drake. Yes. I'm, I'm saying, do we listen to Drake or are we listening to him because he's on? I'm sure he's on. I'm not going to lie, he's good, though. He's good. Yeah, yeah. He's great, so, like, like, commercial like stuff. Why wouldn't I listen to him? Yeah. Yeah, you look, you look like money now, bro. Yeah. You look like money. I like money. Do I look like money? I think so. It's not so bright. I am not trying to look light skinned, guys. <laughs> the frick, man. Ain't nothing wrong with being light skinned. Nothing's wrong with being light skinned, but I want my complexion to be my you complexion. Want, you want your soul to glow? Yes. Gotcha. Brown skin, beautiful brown skin. Okay. Alright. All right. So, yes. today's discussion topic is Toronto artists, who's buzzing, who we feeling. I'm like, Getting all my vibes from this dude. He's telling me who he's feeling. He's got his own perspective. I got my own perspective. He's putting me on the things I've never even, even heard of. So and like, well, that's a couple artists that I haven't heard of as well. Too. Well, yeah, yeah. We gonna see how 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 much we, we how much how much yeah. sauce we got. Yeah, let me see what type of game you up on. All right. So let's talk about rappers in the city. Yeah, let's start with that. I'm gonna start with a young cat by the name of LB Spiffy. Spiffy. Yes, from uh, the West End, I believe the Jan Finch area. Not too sure how he is, how old he is. I'm sure he can't be much older than 20 years old. Mm -hmm. He's got a song out right now called Risky. Swag rap, harmonic, melodic flow. Uh, they be hitting it with the dance moves. Seems like he's got a lot of the younger audience behind him. Pretty the visuals. Cool. The visuals. The visuals are dope too. Okay. The visuals. I know you're about your visuals. I like originality, you know. Yeah. I do. And, and that's what this cat's got. He's got a lot of originality for so. for a younger artist. So I think that's somebody you guys should look up. Alright, so um my first draft pick Let's hear it, let's hear it. Um for rappers in Toronto as of right now is Swagger, right? Okay. Big Obviously. Pick. Big pick. Um because not only is his music good, his stage presence is phenomenal. Mm -hmm. The cat has so much energy on top of that. I mean, for for real, his music's great. Mm -hmm. And I also find that he's just an overall great person. That's dope. He's like, he's humble. So you've met him in person? Yeah, he's a humble you. Like, I like that. I like the fact that he can get around people and he's never too big to, like, show kindness and, and good justice to other people. Which is important. So, yeah. Which big up important. to Swagger, right? And also, yeah, he has a mural too, eh? Yes, I heard about that. The so, man's got a mural. Like, wh where have you seen that? I heard about that, and I think he's like showing the gold grills, like in the middle of downtown Toronto and stuff. It's kind of, it's kind of crazy. That's, yeah, that's cool. it, it looks like almost like it reminds me of like Kawhi's when he has the he's pouring the drink with the goggles over himself. Yes, with the champagne. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So I, that's the same kind of vibe I get from that. I rate Swagger. Classic photo, and um, I've been seeing him grinding for the past couple years too. Definitely a big fan of his energy and uh, what he puts forth into the music. Mm -hmm. So, and he just signed a deal, did he not? He sure as hell did, so okay. he's about to hit the world with all the magic he's got. Right, so that's that's proof that uh, if you grind hard and you put in the work, that you could definitely uh, take your shit to the next level, you know yeah. what I'm saying? So big up to you, congratulations yeah. on that. Yeah. Uh, big up, Sanger. We see you, Rhythm. We see you. Alright, um, so do you have any other rappers that are on your list of yes. favorites? Yes, so there was a dude I was listening to uh, the other day with a crazy freestyle. Um, he was out in the UK. I can't remember if it was, I don't think it was Tim Westwood, I think it was Charlie and them. But uh, Northside Benji. The name sounds. Sounds quite grimy, I would say. Yes. Northside North Benji. Benji. Well, where is he from? Well, Northside. We are the north. Of, I'm thinking of the north of Canada, right? Toronto. I mean, no, my bad. I think he's from the West End too, Jane and Finch. Okay, yeah, yeah, or, yeah. Um, this, this is a Toronto conversation. Yeah, so I'm, not, I'm not too sure. Which right? ends is he from? You know, he's yeah. from the West? Yeah, he's from the West End. West End? Okay, I see you. Right now, um, right, I could be wrong. I'm not too exactly sure exactly where, but... The cadence, yeah. the flow, yeah. the delivery, yeah. the passion, the pain. You yeah. can definitely hear it in his voice. 
and uh, I was thoroughly impressed. I went back and started listening to a lot more of his music. It seems like he, you know, he's doing the street stuff, but mm -hmm. he has a lot of uh, hidden messages in there where it's so motivational. So I would say Northside Benji, that's somebody you should check out too. And I sent you some of his music. Okay, and I have three phones, bro. So okay, that's right. I have three phones. All right. Work phones, yes. house phone, trap phone. Yes. No trap phone, just <laughs> okay. yeah, They're all trap phones, they're all <laughs> trap phones. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So yeah, I'm gonna check out your music. Um, you you are on now on my radar. Is there anyone else that you you're feeling rap by? Uh, one other uh, artist in regards to rap, I would say is uh, Smiley. Been making a lot of noise mm -hmm. um, with his buy or buy um, playlist, I believe. Mm. So like, if you don't buy, then it's buy. Like, beat it. Yeah, I need to hear that because I don't. I might have to say hi <laughs> or bye. <laughs> right. Right. <laughs> yeah. So he just. Um, Another um, another dude coming up, I believe, from the Western as well. Western rappers are really doing that thing right now. Mm -hmm. And um, originality, that's what I could say. Originality, when you hear him, his own flow, his own mm -hmm. swag. So uh, that's somebody uh, who's been making noise, but you should definitely look out for it to be making some moves in the near future, too. Who okay. you got on your list? Well, Swagger was my only mention. Okay. Um, I mean, shout out to everyone else that's doing their thing in the city. I see you, you know, but. Like whoever, like like I said, it takes a lot for me to jump out my seat and get excited about um, rapper stuff. So like if you like a dope ass rapper, I'm then I'm like, yo, I'm feeling you, I'm like, yo, I'm I'm gonna tell you. I'm not even gonna I'm not even gonna be like, you know, some people in Toronto even see you and they like like what you're doing. They're not gonna really come up there and really like, yo, I rate you, they're just gonna kind of like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Like, yo, if I really feel you, I'm gonna jump out my seat, let you know I feel you. I'm not shy to let you know, I'll give you your props. Mm -hmm. You know? So from the R and B scene. What are you feeling from the R and B scene? Let me know. Let me just scroll. Yeah, let me hear it. Oh. All right. So I like Pluto. Pluto. Wow. So he's been kind of gone from the scene for a little bit. Mm -hmm. He dropped an EP called Jessica a few years ago. Right. But recently, I did run across something on YouTube, and he actually changed his name. So he took out the vowel of the U. And he's gone with PLTO. It probably was a copyright thing because it's hard, you know. Most likely, yeah. Yeah, you, those um single name kind of words are hard to come by. I mean, I couldn't even find Quinn Wilson on Instagram. I think I was telling you the other week. That, yeah. If there was another girl, another Quinn Wilson doing some dope ass stuff too. So I was like, yo, like, yeah. yeah I was yeah. in my feelings though. But she had an extra <laughs> end though at the end of her name, so okay. I knew she's probably the same problem. Anyway, is there um? So Pluto, I mean, I've heard some of Pluto's music. I haven't heard anything from him as of lately, so I'm gonna definitely check that out. Yeah, he has a video, and it was like really like eclectic and emotional, yeah. and then he was really digging into whatever it is that he does so well. Yeah. And I mean, I met him many a time, especially when he was just Starting. developing, mm -hmm. and he was just amazing at what he does. Like he just got something that is really special. Yeah, I met Pluto a couple times myself too. Um, if you guys are unfamiliar with him or his music, I'm, he's pretty well known on the music scene. Mm -hmm. But he's like the Justin Timberlake of Toronto. I don't think it's a matter of uh, how he's gonna blow up. Or Go how. on. Yeah, I think it's just a matter of when. You know what I mean? You try I to, agree, and yeah. it involves consistency. I don't know what his deal was. Maybe some happened, but yeah, you you can't leave the public like out here wanting more mm -hmm. like that, like. We have needs too. <laughs> you got fans for <laughs> We, got fans we for have them. needs too. So. Come back down to earth. Who else you got on the list there? Oh, uh, I like Kelsey. We talked about Kelsey. Bass. Bass. Yes. I like her a lot, and she really can sing. Like, Shorty can sing around a lot of people, and she has a brother who is equally as dope. Like, she, as well. The first time I met them, it was I went to the studio and I met her brother was singing. Mm -hmm. And she was there and they were doing like a duet. Brother and sister duet, that's dope. You know? Yeah. And they were doing a duet and I was like, well she blow me on my socks. Like, Shit. yeah, they yeah. they are dope. Um, um, but she's definitely stepping out and merging as a solo artist and doing things by herself. I see her doing manifestos, I see her putting out videos. I remember one time I put her in my in my music shadow videos because the song that she put out that I lashed out it was really dope. For real. You know, and she's just like, she can sing, like, right. my, don't sleep on the kid. My first experience with Kelsey's music was a track, Focus, and that dropped, uh, I think, sometime in 2018. It was on heavy repeat, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? When I find a song that I like, I'll just play it for like a month straight till everybody else hears it. 
Me too. Yeah, you can't keep it to yourself. Do you, do you share? Are you one of those people where you just like, yo, this is amongst, my... Like, amongst, are you like, I really like this one, yo. Yeah, amongst a small circle <laughs> of avid music listeners and lovers, if I feel like you're not really up on tune, yeah. I'm not sending you to tune because I feel like you're not going to appreciate it. But I feel like if it's someone like yourself, maybe my sister, a couple of my bros, a yeah. couple of the guys, I'm like, yo, you got to check this out. So before it pops, like, you're already privy to that. So you know. Yeah. I knew. Yeah, remember where you heard it first. Yes, yeah. remember that. I cry, I cry, I tell right, so Kelsey yeah, Baz, I think she has a new song called Raindrops. That came yes, out. sir. That's, a, that's a, dope, a dope vibe, too. So um, that's something to look out for. I also like this right. girl artist. Her name is Sas Sasha Cha. Who? Who? Sasha Cha. Sasha. Sasha. Fuck okay. Cha. Okay. Um, yeah, like she's like from out here. She's Algerian. Um, mad beautiful mad talented um she's actually has an ep release i believe this tuesday i'm gonna go check her out live okay you know but she's serving all kind of sauce um, on social media and she's just an overall creative and uh eclectic person and you know that fits in with my dna so how do you spell that uh s-a-s-h-a-c-h-a-a okay we're gonna check you out right now sasha See, he's just putting everything down. You see, 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 see. Is there anyone on your on your R&B list? Um, you know what? There was one person I forgot to mention. Yeah. Um, I was I mentioned 88 Glam. I think those dudes are from Ottawa. You said Kelsey might be from Ottawa as well too. Yeah. So Kelsey's from Ottawa, the Ottawa squad. Or if they're not from Ottawa, they're I mean, this this was this was a Toronto list. Right. Facts. This was a Fact. Toronto list, Fact. but because you live in Toronto now, yes. you are on this list. Right. I, I'm not sure if these dudes are from Ottawa, but I'm pretty sure they're rocking with the XO camp. Dope. Who's out of Ottawa. And uh, if you made the Toronto list, then you don't know you're doing. You're putting in work. You're putting in work. I see you. Work. We see you. Right. Yeah, man. Anybody else on your Anybody list? Anybody else? I was thinking um, there's one person I did forget to mention. Mm -hmm. And um, I'm looking forward to hearing some new music from her. Um, I've met her in person a couple of times. She has a lot of dope material. Mm -hmm. Haley Smalls. Woo, Haley! Haley yes, Smalls. yes. Big up to Mega Man. Let me see you, brother. Mega yeah. Man. Mega Man, the producer, the pony record, because them, you yeah. know? Yes, yes. Haley, big up yourself. Um, She's dope. I like her too. Super dope. Super dope material. Um, Making some moves, uh, creating a lot of traction too. Mm -hmm. But, um,. Artists like that, it's like you're kind of just sitting back waiting for like, yo, what's the next? Yeah, when it, when it was bubbling. Yeah, what I want to hear next, right? Um, any honorable mentions? Honorable mentions? Um, Shy Wisdom. Shy Wisdom, okay. Shy Wisdom for sure. Yeah. Classic honorable mention. Mm -hmm. any, any others for you? Devontae Woe. Devontae Woe. Devontae Woe, if you heard the term Woe, that definitely came from him and his camp. Mm -hmm. um, he's put out two dope projects. I think it's in the past two years. His most recent, pro recent project is uh, Son of Don. Mm -hmm. I haven't heard it. And um, no. I know he's got a drum. You gotta type it now. Devante, you gotta look for you now. Yeah. yeah. Whoa. Uh -huh. Dev like Devante Swang from Jodeci? She like, just like Devante Swang from Jodeci. Yo, you think his mom named him after Devante? You think that would happen? Is he, is he young that, enough? That's very possible. Young do, enough to I, be? I, I, know, I do know his dad. And uh, I've met his mom as well too, and um, they grew up in that Jodeci era, so that's very possible that he may got that from the. No joke, no Devontae was like the <laughs> finest, the finest <laughs> one, and then it was Dalvin, and then you know. Right. Yeah, boy, it's probably yeah. I've, I've heard that story before. A lot of people were uh, procreated to the Jodeci era. A lot of people are here due to that Jodeci era. Man. You know what I mean? So I mean. A lot of people still procreating to the Jodeci <laughs> era. <laughs> Back though. Yo, who's it? You know, let me, I need to stop getting off topic. Is there anybody else you want to mention? You know what? For anybody that we didn't mention, it's not that uh, we're not staying in tune with your music. Right. But I would say it's just uh, keep grinding, keep, keep putting out the, the content the and the heat. material. Yeah, you know, so you can stay on the radar. But, um, no, nah, I mean, the Toronto music scene is forever growing. There's so much new artists coming out every day, so it's kind of hard to keep in track with uh, everybody coming out. But, uh, we're listening. Yeah, and I mean, if there's anybody like on your radar, and if even if you're an artist and you like want us to check out your music, like we're always trying to put or provide a platform for people because like what we do is music. This is what we like to do. It's what we like to discuss. You know. One, one more person that I forgot to mention, or I have a 
actual serious question about like, what's going on with your music? What can we hear something from you? <laughs> what's going on with me? Are you currently working on any projects right now? Okay. The last project that I dropped wasn't my project, but me and my husband have done collaborations for his play, and we did um, the Little Black Lies soundtrack. Pumping in a circle. Pumping in a circle. Crazy and video. we also did Wet Dreams for that song as well, for that record as well. So like, him and I work together. I mean, I am always constantly creating, but I am my biggest critic. I'm probably the hardest person on myself, so I sit on my, I can't swear. I sit on my stuff, you know? Mm -hmm. I sit on it, so that's the only reason so why. So how about you let the fans decide? How about we, you know, let the fans tell you how they feel about your music. You just put something out. Yeah. Because, you, know, you know, the fans been waiting. Yeah. Right? It's, let, it's, it's in the decide. universe, yeah. Right. I'll be honest with you, it's like, in a way, sometimes I feel like, you know, God is speaks to me in so many different ways. And people are always constantly coming to me like, Quinn, what's up? And, um, yeah, so I get a little itch. Just a little itch. It's coming, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be honored about this color, but I mean, definitely Quinn's got some dope material. Thank Not you. only does she sing, but she raps, handles, and bars, like I said before. <laughs> right? And, uh, I was at the Pumping in a Circle video shoot. Yeah. Thank you, CrossFit Helps Productions and Quinn for allowing me to be a part of that. I hate you. <laughs> yeah, he he was, you, you know what? I'm going to put that at the link below. Y'all yeah. need to go check that out because you're going to see him in full action. Crazy. He's like a full-time actor. He's a professional actor. <laughs> the man was like completely lost in his element. If you saw, like money was being thrown, the man was just like, yeah. whoa. So it was yeah. a little bit overwhelming. I didn't know what to expect, you know, where you showed up on the on the set at like you know seven, eight AM and then next thing you know there was just an influx of women there. <laughs> I was like, bro, come through. He's like, Okay. Who <laughs> oh, damn quit, I'm glad I stayed. <laughs> you know what I mean? So definitely check that out and I'm looking forward and, and obviously sis was bad swaggy mad saucy. So I'm looking forward to hearing it and seeing it more from uh, from YouTube. So Well yeah, had a first. If you on the radar, we see you. We see you. And yeah, like I said, if you are anybody that we want or you want us to know about, you please just like drop us a line. Drop us a call. We'll talk about you. We'll check you out. All right. Peace. Rick. Made up,